booming life science age fueled by AI on chips and tackling COVID hardships. Life and sense are two important things for human life. Under current pandemic stage, I think more people appreciate that technology people can use sensing technology to help us to enjoy more of our life. Fortunately, before COVID-19, human beings already studied the human and machine interface. So currently, we have technologies to do the man AGV to cover the man driving. And also many cleaning robots using our chips now can help human cleaning. In addition, our chip also help people can do the cashierless shopping. And this is a new life called touchless life. And um, one key message is that all this new technology like real-time streaming, wearable, smart cities, all are enabled by semiconductor chips. And look at this, small retails, smart retails, and uh, we can use all kind of cameras to watch the objects to fulfill the application like uh, people and uh, counting and also look like the robots that can pick up the uh, objects very precisely. The technology that i3D is using is explained here. We use a depth sensing processor made in silicon. We can receive the signal from sensor. Of course, the sensor receives signal from camera lens. So because we can receive signals from multiple lenses, so we can compose the image to make us see these objects in real stereo mode. So look at the AI pictures. That person is playing the umbrellas. And you can see that there is a stereo images. And also the image be converted to a stick diagram we call skeleton. With middleware to process those skeletons, we can do face recognition, gesture control, and our customer will run the right software to enhance the AI applications. And uh, when we collect all this digital information, we call point clouds. So you look at the, this models, actually all the bottom three are composed by point clouds. And these point clouds can be transmitted by the wireless, so you can interact with these point clouds. And our chip also used by the VR and AR technology, such as you can buy the HMD from Facebook or Valve, and you can play all the games, virtual reality, and you can immerse yourself into it. That's what we call augmented realities. So i3D produce a series of uh, products, okay? The most complicated one is called death map processing units. With these units, we can fulfill the virtual reality and AI world to allow people with distance remotely exchange their life experiences. And now let me introduce another new technology that's done by eEver is USB 4.0 video capture controller. And so that will allow you to work from home because data has been transmitted by live streaming and uh, you can do video conference and e-sport games. Very interesting, look at this, this. During the pandemic period, because our technology allowed the data transfer by wireless and wire lines, so look at these people are still enjoying the competing each other on the eSports contest. And for course, the third company, eTron, they are a specialty company making memories. And now we announced that we make the world's smallest DRAMs. So you can see that DRAMs coupled with lattice 
FPGA chips. Then you can make the world's smallest camera to do the AI wearable. That means you wear a camera on your body and you can do all kinds of AI games. And now I want to show you, when we combine all this data and we can do the following people's dream. Human beings dream that we can bring all the people from distance to get together. You may watch a movie called Kingsman. And then you look at it. Traditionally, for a meeting, we have to physically arrive at the meeting room. But in the future, you know, people can wear the glasses and then we transmit the 3D point clouds, as I explained, then we have virtual meeting. And I don't call virtual because there is an actual person to coordinate a meeting. So I call this is augmented reality or XR, whatever. And this can be done in the past by laser technology. But I hope in the future, we can use microelectronic technology and helpful by laser or infrared detector we can fulfill this dream, especially for the touchless economy. This will be a major scenery that people can get together for meeting and see the body and see the eyes touch and many things. So with our technology, that's interesting enough. During the pandemic phase, these sports uh, game player, they still can participate in e-sport contests and they can compete each other. So this is another company product, Etron product. Etron is well known for making the world uh, specialty DRAMs. And now we announced that we make the world's smallest DRAMs called RPC DRAMs. And uh, coupled with the latest FPGA processor, and we make the world's smallest cameras. And these small cameras had the power to process AI data. So we call AI wearable cameras. So you put the cameras on the, your body attachments, whatever, and then and you can process with AI, with your vision to simplify the information you want to get. So put things together and there is a dream for human beings. We want to have telepresence. In the traditional meetings, you have to collect everybody into the meeting room. And uh, then we can have physical body interactions. However, with the point cloud technology I introduce you, your data has been converted to digital information to transmit to the meeting room. So this is the picture, the movie you may watch in the Kingsman. Okay, one guy to call everybody to the meeting room but those people are in the different countries. And that's possible by our 3D technology with memory technologies. So for Taiwan This Big Event, we also extend the invitation to our partners to come to Taiwan or participate this meeting for AI-enabled smart retail. Let me introduce you. We have partners use our chips this is a Japanese company, Next Edge. They put our chip in the surgery room of the Tokyo University for a liver surgeon to operate, to do the surgery. And the second one, Cyberlink, Taiwan company, to make face recognition by using the 3D cameras. And the third one is robot company called TN. And they use our camera on the robot arm so he can precisely pick up the object. And there are a few AI partners, Blaze, Slamcore, uh, Your Falcon, and the Augmented Pixels. Some of them will also give the lectures just like I did now. And uh, one more thing I want to emphasize, the AI and chip to generate these virtual interactions or the touchless economy. And one thing very important called heterogeneous integration of technology. That's I promoted since 2004. So 15 years later, and we put many chips together with AI technology. 
and heterogeneous integration roadmap is what IEEE endorsed after Moore's law. And so I look, I show you this picture by the TSMC. Instead of I design the chips for my customer interact with AI technologies, the other hand, I have to work with TSMC on multiple technology. For example, they are famous with logic, but today it's not just logic. They operate a lot, like a sensor technology, like uh, you know what I can see, audio decoder, many different technology putting together. So I want to show you a picture what we can do in the following slogan that Taiwan is moving on. We call AI on chip, Taiwan Alliance. And uh, we government sponsored this alliance, and but 102, 102 companies joined this activity. And we work constantly among this company to generate the AI action by the chip. So this is the strength of Taiwan and also the strength of the three companies I introduced you today. So finally, in summary, today I show you e-tron for a specialty DRAMs, very key technology for AI and touchless economics. I also show you the i3D, which can generate a point cloud by the cameras, very low cost technology. But with the wireless, we can have a mutual telepresence conference. And the third one is eEver. You may remember that we use USB 3.0 and 4.0 to transmit signal that people can do the video games in the different locations. No touch. They only touch on their keyboard. So in summary, integrated smart microsystem that we like to develop with in Taiwan and in the world. We welcome everybody join Taiwan and we welcome to serve you for a touchless economics. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope it's helpful to you to develop your technologies. Thank you.